Hey, this is Dan DeLuca coming to you from my home office in Eugene, Oregon, and today I'm going to give you some tips on prospecting over the phone. And the upshot is that a lot of folks are afraid of using the phone. They have a couple of fears, and you might not know you're afraid of this, or you might know you're afraid of this, and you're not sure what to do about it. So the first thing uh, that stops people or one of the first things that can stop people or have them be afraid of using the phone, picking up the phone, calling people, is they're addicted to their self-image. So what's that mean? Well, you have a self-image, right? You have an image of yourself. You're a certain kind of person. You are uh, you do certain things. You don't do certain things. And talking to people on the phone, especially if it's a stranger or someone maybe you just met, you don't know them very well, and uh, talking to them about your business or about your products, just kind of uh, you know straight up, um, gets you. It, it's a conflict with your self-image. A lot of folks have a self-image, and this may be you, it may not be you. Your self-image may, may be that you are not a salesperson, and prospecting is all about selling, right? Actually, it doesn't have to be about selling. Prospecting and and selling really is about serving people, finding out what they need, where they need help, where's their pain, what are they trying to get to, serving them in that way by helping them get there, helping them fill that need. So if you're if you have a self-image of not being a salesperson, consider that when you're prospecting and you're telling people about your opportunity or you're telling them about your products that you're actually serving them because they may not know about it. And by telling them about it, you give them the opportunity to then make a decision or a choice about whether to use your products or join your opportunity and start their own business. So that's the first thing is self-image addiction and especially the self-image of not being a salesperson. So you don't have to be a salesperson to be successful in online marketing or really in any business. Obviously, that's a contradictory statement. We have to sell. However, by coming at it from the p point of view of I'm serving this person, how can I serve this person, you're going to make a lot more sales and build your business uh, a lot faster and without uh, so much pain, struggle, anguish, and fear of the phone. The other thing uh, that keeps people from picking up the phone is straight up fear of rejection. Now, you're going to get no's. You're going to get people that aren't interested in your business. They're not interested in your opportunity. They don't, they just aren't. And they're going to say no. And they're going to say no in a lot of different ways. And it doesn't really matter how they say it, because if you consider it to be rejection, then it's going to be, it's going to, you're taking it personally, basically. So the, the thing to do is, um, Instead of taking it personally, because the people you're talking to, most of them probably don't know you very well. Now, if it's your warm market, if it's your friends, there's a different way to look at it. However, even then, consider that it's not personal because what you're doing, again, if you are coming at it from the point of view of serving somebody and you're telling your friends about a new product uh, maybe it's a health product that can help them with some issue that they have. Wouldn't you want your friends to tell you about something that could help you look at it the other way? Don't you think your friends would like you to tell them about something that might help them out or yeah, in some way? Okay, so rejection, phone rejection. Just you know what? You're going to get rejected. You're going to get no's. Let's put it that way. They're not rejecting you. They're rejecting the opportunity. They're rejecting the product. But it's not about you. Most of the people that you talk to, if you're talking to 20 people a day, most of them you don't know, right? So they're not rejecting you. They're just saying no to your opportunity. So look at it that way and um, go for the no's. You know, there's a there's a great book about that. Go for the no's. If you can get to go for 20 no's a day, you'll be very successful. And that's all I got to say really about prospecting and uh, fear, fear of the phone. Um, 
you look at it, uh, just reframe it. Reframe it and you will be fine. Pick up the phone, make the call. So if you like these tips that I'm giving you, you can subscribe to my newsletter at dandeluca.com slash newsletter and you'll get a notification when I uh, create videos like this. And also there's great tips in the newsletter itself. So visit dandeluca.com slash newsletter and subscribe today. Thanks. I'll see you at the top.